I watched Rocky V last week, and I, it's considered um, by most people the worst Rocky, but I like it more than Rocky IV, which a lot of people consider one of the best Rockies. Um, I feel like it, it's not as much about um, boxing because Rocky is forced to retire because, you know, he's getting old and, like, badly injured. So he, uh, you know, he can't fight as much anymore, so he has to train somebody. And the guy he has to train, I think that that's the, the character that, I feel like uh, ruins a movie for a lot of people because he's not the most interesting character, but he's also not. He's important to the story, but not so important to the story that he like brings the story down for me because the story is really focused on Rocky and and him trying to deal with learning how to live without being a boxer and and kind of he mentions uh, early in the film he says that uh, in a in a press conference that uh, his his son having his son feels like being born all over again and later on his son asks him like what do you mean by that and he says essentially like being able to give you this life that um that i never had growing up it, it, it um you know being able to see that through your eyes it feels like you know i'm living it myself and you know he wants to just give him a good life and he and he does a similar thing with uh tommy the guy that he trains and essentially mm-hmm. because he can't box anymore he's living out his boxing career again through Tommy and starts neglecting his son because of that. It's a very good movie and I don't understand why people don't like it. It's, it's a good movie. <laughs> I like Rocky Five. I like it more than Rocky Four. Rocky Four I don't know. It just they didn't do much for me. <laughs>